So this is the sketchbook I've been using for the past two and a half months to improve on my brush layering, which I'm still fairly new at. This sketchbook is by Mufakira, it's an Egyptian brand. And the thickness of the paper, if I remember correctly, is about 70 grams. It's not thick, it can't hold stuff like watercolor and markers and so on, but it does its job, it's like most sketchbooks. The reason I decided to create a sketchbook specifically for brush layering was to have a specific space to always work in and not be worried about making a mess. I noticed that I always have a problem writing with a brush pen such as Tombow brush pens and I think the reason might be that I'm left-handed and when writing in a language from left to right like English I can't really see very well what I'm doing and I think that's the main reason. When I'm doing full calligraphy though, I can control the pen much easier and I end up doing a much better job. <laughs> Misspelled it. Most of the time when I was working in this sketchbook, it was at night after work and I was usually so tired. So throughout the sketchbook, you're actually going to see mistakes and uh, words associated with tiredness, sleepiness, drowsiness. You get the idea. You'll notice that a lot of these uh, pieces are very rough, drafts, and others are a little more complete. Yep, spelled it right this time. Practicing some S's. Neda in Arabic means the morning dew. I noticed that I usually produced much better results when I was using uh, different inking pens to produce something like this, rather than using just one brush pen and trying to achieve something with just trying to control my thick strokes and thin strokes. Like I said, I really have a problem holding the pen right. So yeah, I always produce better results when I could actually alternate between different pens and just do full calligraphy instead. You're gonna find drowsiness, sleepiness, and similar reoccurring themes in my sketchbook. These little dots were by a gold pen I had gotten from Fabriano. They're really nice. If you look closely at this, you can see where my hand is really awkward. Like I said, I really find it hard to control thin strokes and thick strokes with the same brush pen. Oh, this is one of the pieces I like. I also like this one. I was using a special kind of pencil and it turned out fine. 
yeah and this is one of those pieces that no matter how you try to improve it was a mistake from the very beginning oh yeah i really like this one it actually turned out exactly the way i had imagined it in my mind which never happens ever This is literally the best teddy bear I have ever drawn in my life. Needless to say, I love this quote. This movie is really special to me. I first saw it when I was 11. And since this sketchbook is a popsicle and this stick is sticking out through the middle, you have to flip it over and carry on. Yeah, these were done with Faber-Castell coloring pencils. Everything that you see in this sketchbook is a combination of three things. It is either uh, a product of something inspiring I had seen and tried to uh, put my own twist in it. Another is something that was created entirely out of my own head. And the third kind of exercises were very close copies of things I had seen on the internet and wanted to try to emulate the artist style. However, I'm happy to say that the vast majority of everything in this sketchbook is my own work. <laughs> Sight. This was largely inspired by a similar piece I had seen on the internet. Again, too close to the edge. Didn't plan it ahead. <sighs> One of my lifelong dreams. Just give me the money. Oh yeah, I had seen this font on the internet and I really liked it. It's like nothing I had ever tried before, so 
that was an exercise in this. This is actually supposed to be a braid if you use your imagination. Yeah. I intentionally wanted the note to be written in green because this is a message that I have to keep telling myself every day to learn to say no when it's important. Oh yeah, and this one is also a very close copy of another piece I had seen on the internet. The only difference really is the texture. I really like the style. I gotta tell you, it is really hot in Egypt right now, and it's going to get even hotter in July and August. This one is also a near identical copy of another uh, piece I had seen on the internet. I really liked the way the sleep word was written, so I tried to copy it the best I could. This is also a very nice piece I had seen on the internet and tried to emulate. Yeah, I'm really proud of this one. You may have seen many variations of this idea on the internet, and this is my own take on it. Hmm, I had to use a white acrylic marker to write the word orange. White markers are actually quite hard to find in Egypt. I had to buy this pen from abroad. Yeah, marhaban. It means hello in Arabic. This one is also a very close copy to another piece I had seen online. If there is something I'm proud of in this particular piece is how hard I worked to actually try to hide the very obvious mistake in the word architects. And it worked! So, yay! Yep. Last page. That's it. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Have a great day.